In this video, we are going to see how to add Google Calendar event details to Microsoft Excel. So let's say you're using Google Calendar to manage your dates and every time a new event is added to it, you want this information to be added as a new row in your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Now how can you do this? By integrating these two applications and this can be done using Public Connect software where this entire process will get automated. Here your trigger application will be Google Calendar and your action application would be Microsoft Excel. Now how can you do it yourself to understand this? Let me take you to my screen. So the first thing we have to do is we have to type the URL pably.com slash connect and as we click on enter it will take us to the landing page of this software. Here on the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user you can simply sign in and if you are a new user then you will have to sign up for free. Now since I'm an existing user here, I'm going to simply sign in. At the time of account creation, you will also get 100 free tasks. Now we have reached the all applications page here. Since we are doing this integration using Public Connect software, let's click on access now. And once done, it will take us to the dashboard of this application. So on the right hand side, again, you can see a blue tab create workflow. I'm going to click on this and a dialog box appears, which is asking me to name my workflow. Here, my objective is that every time a new event is created on Google Calendar, the information should be shared with my Excel sheet. So I'm going to name my workflow as Google Calendar to Microsoft Excel. Let's click on create. And now here we have reached another window which has got two very important events, trigger and actions. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Action is basically the response of trigger. Here my first application would be Google Calendar and uh, this is my application. Now the trigger event would be new event. So once done, I'm going to click on connect and then Pabbly Connect is asking us to connect itself with the Google Calendar account. For this, I'm going to click on add new connection and connect with Google Calendar. I've already logged into my account. So it is now asking me which particular account do I need to continue with. So let's select this. And once done here, we will have to provide it the access so that it can have access to the information. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now here we have to map the calendar. So basically if I'll take you to my Google calendar, here you can see my calendar. So these are the various calendars that I've already created. It is Ashish, I click up task, employees birthday, etc. Here I have selected the calendar as employees birthday. Now I'm going to go back to Public Connect and here I'm going to save it as employees birthday. Once done, let's click on save and send test request. So as soon as I do that, the last response which was there in the uh, Google Calendar would be captured. So here I'm going to do this again. How? Let's go to Google Calendar. These are the different calendars. Let's say I have decided for employees birthday. Once I have clicked on these box, so the monthly calendar will open or that particular calendar, the name of the calendar that you have opened will open in front of you. Now let's say that today is Monday. So I basically want a reminder to be shared on my Google Calendar that uh, at around 1.30 I have a meeting. Similarly, let's say that on 31st, I'm going to add another event. So I'm going to click on this and here we have to, to add an event, we have to fill in the following details. Let's say it is second phase integration meeting okay so there is a meeting second phase integration meeting and then we have to select the date so let's say it is on 9th of august and then do we want it to repeat all the time so you can always say that no i do not want it to get repeated or anything then once done here it's the time basically from what time till what time is the meeting so let's say it is from four o'clock in the evening and then again it is till eight o'clock in the evening so once done i'm going to add a description so let's say here the description is that uh, important date to be shared and i'm going to click on save if you wish you can always add attachments there and you can process 
So now once done, so here I can see if I scroll up. So on 9th, we have this 4 p.m. second phase integration meeting scheduled. I'm going to go back to Public Connect and click on save and send test request. So if I scroll down here, you can see that this is the summary, basically the name of the event. And then this is the description update. And then here you can see that uh, we have the creator's email ID. Then we have the organizer's email ID here. And then if I come down, this is the display name employees birthday so which is the name of my calendar if i come down here then we have the date time the start date time of the event and the end time so we have received this information but the time that we have received here it is not in the correct format so i'm going to choose another action step here and this time my application would be date time formatter by pabli and the action event here would be format date with time zone let's click on connect so once done here, I'm going to map the data. So basically I am going to mapping here means that I already have this information. I'm just going to retrieve it from the previous steps. So once connected here, we have to fill in the date. So I'm going to write the date is start date time. Once done from format is the same to format here will be. So let's say it is date month year. And then along with the time. So I'm going to select this one. From time zone is Asia Kolkata. And uh, again, two time zone is also Asia Kolkata. So once clicked, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that we have received our information exactly in the desired format. I'm going to repeat this process because I have to do the same thing for the end time. So the same feature, which is date time formatter. And then I'm going to add the action event as format date with time zone. Let's click on connect. And once done, let's map the data here. So going to the first step and this is the end date time. Let's click on this. From format is the same to format here would be date, month, year along with the time. And here again, I'm going to choose the time zone as Asia Kolkata. And two time zone will also be Asia Kolkata here so let's click on this and now save and send test request so once done we have received our date in the desired format so once we have received the information now i'm going to choose my actual action step as microsoft excel because i want this information to be added as a new row in microsoft excel so the action event would be add row to worksheet and now i'm going to click on connect once done, Public Connect is here asking me to connect itself with the Microsoft Excel account. For this, let's click on Add New Connection and connect with Microsoft Excel. Now here you can see that it is asking me to provide access to the information. For this, I'm going to click on Yes. I've already logged into my Microsoft Excel account, so you should also do that. So once connected, it is now asking me to find the workbook and the worksheet. Basically, I've already created a workbook and the name here is Google Calendar. These are the various column fields, event name, the description, email address, organizer's name, then start time and end time. So now going back to Pabli Connect, I'm going to select this workbook, which is Google Calendar here. So let's click on this. Once done. It will automatically capture the name of the worksheet because it has got only one worksheet. So let's see it has already created the it has already captured the details. Now once done here we have to map this information. So first of all the event name. So here we can see the name of the event is second phase integration meeting. Let's click on this. Then we have the description. This is the description. Then we have the email address. Now let's map the email address. So here we'll go and we'll go down. We'll look for the email address here. So this is it. And then we have the organizer's name. So here we have the organizer's display name. And then we have the start time for this. I'm going to go to the second step. And this is the start time. And then we have the end time. And this is the end time. Once done, I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received the API response. Now I'm going to go to my Excel sheet, refresh the page and see if we have received the information here. And yes, we have received the information over here. Now 
we understand that this integration process is a success but we also need to check if this is okay in real time as well so now let's go to our google calendar once again and here again i'm going to select employees both day and let's say there is another event on 10th so the name of the event here is office party and then this is on 10th of september so we have already selected the date and this is not an all day thing so here the party starts at uh, let's say 7 30 and ends here at 9 30. so once done i'm going to add some description so office success party and then i'm going to click on save so here we have received another data now what should happen basically this information should get reflected in my excel sheet so going back to google calendars i'm going to refresh this page and check if we have received the data but here we can see that the data has not appeared yet for this i'm going to take you to pavli and if i scroll up here you can see that this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes which means that this trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes and this workflow will run after every 10 minutes to check for new data. So if in case your data, your response doesn't come in 10 minutes, do not worry. Like instantly, if it doesn't come, do not worry. It will be there in around 10 to 15 minutes. So now we are going to wait for 10 minutes and then we'll quickly come refresh the page and check if this workflow is a success. So now I'm going to take you back to my Google Calendar and see here we have received the data. So the event name is date office party. The description is office success party. This is the email address, organizer's name, start time and end time. So this basically means that this entire process is a success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pavli Connect and let's quickly understand the process. This is just a two step integration process where we have used a feature by Pavli which is date time formatter to format the time and date now here the trigger application was google calendar and the event was new event and then the action application was microsoft excel and the event was add row to worksheet so i hope this is very much clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to this workflow the same workflow is there in the video description you can also clone this workflow and start to process immediately Apart from this, if you have any suggestion or advice or if you wish to work on any other integration, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pavli.com and if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.